Hey, Scott, uh, I don't know if you can see the screen, but we've got a banner that says Dr. Gottlieb, summer COVID risk dropping, fall still in question. So I want to ask you about the fall still in question. Uh, we're going to have the CEO of SL Green on, and we're going to talk about New York coming back. And so many businesses across America are trying to reopen over the summer and in some cases trying to get as many people back post Labor Day, that Labor Day seems to be the uh, the sort of target goal for so many, with the expectation that the fall is not in question. People are making plans for conferences, uh, making travel plans, getting, you know, getting back to life. What do you mean when you say fall is still in question? Well, look, I think if we come off a summer where infection levels are very low, which I think is going to be the case, we're not just going to get back in September and all of a sudden this is going to spike up. It takes time to build. And that's what we also saw with last summer as well. We came off a summer where we had pretty high infection around the country, but it really wasn't until November that you started to see really high levels of infection. I think the risk is as we get into later fall, probably the winter, you know, there is a risk that this does come back, that it does spread. We'll have a less vulnerable population, so I think the overall death and disease from COVID hopefully will be diminished. But there's a chance that it's going to start to spread again. We'll have to start to take precautions. I don't think that that really becomes manifest until we get probably into late November, maybe December, if we do come off a good summer. So I don't think September is really in question. I don't think that's the variable we ought to be thinking about. I think we should be thinking about the late winter. Coronaviruses are typically late winter pathogens. They circulate in December, January. And this is going to transition this year probably from more of a pandemic strain to a seasonal strain. So we'll start to see a seasonal pattern of spread. Now, the variable with that is the variance. If we do get a variant that right. is much more contagious, pierces prior immunity, pierces vaccination, that could change the equation. Right now, we don't see that on the horizon. There are some things that concern us, like the Indian variant, the 167 that's circulating in India right now. That seems concerning. We don't really understand it. So there are things, there are uncertainties out there. But right now, I think that we should come back in the summer and have a relatively um, mild fall as well. I think we should be able to be back at work in school in September. The risk is going to be really to the winter. But just to put a fine point on that, if you're if you're a business leader thinking about your plans, and we've talked about this before, uh, about what October and November and December look like in terms of meetings, in terms of traveling to, to, to conferences, in terms of all of the things that I think so many people, to be honest with you, are now planning on, should you be putting a question mark next to that on your calendar? No, I don't believe so. I think we're going to be able to come back in the fall um, and, you know, get back to some semblance of normal activity. Uh, again, I think the risk is going to be more to the winter. I don't think we're going to be having holiday parties in, you know, the back room of a crowded restaurant on December 20th. I think that we're going to have to do things differently as we get into the winter, take more respiratory precautions. But I think that's going to be a fact of life going forward for a number of years anyway. We're going to be more cognizant of the risk of respiratory diseases. Quite frankly, I think if you want to go back to work or bring people back into an office environment, the summer is going to be pretty safe. Now, I understand people don't want to bring folks back in the summertime, but prevalence levels, infection levels should be really low across the country in the summertime. So I do think that there is going to be an opportunity to do that in the summer if we wanted to. Um, but I think that opportunity will still be locked in as we get into the fall. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.